Production. Meaning of production. If I will be having such delicious meals around here, then I am definitely not going back to my house. Well, your mother will come looking for you before you know it. Then I will hide. Anyway, I am dying to hear about production. I will only tell you about it on one condition. Anything you want. That you will run home after this. Are you getting rid of me? No, nope, I am considering my sister, your mother. She'll miss you, you know. I know. We have a deal then. But I will pop back before you know it. No problem. Now, when one is involved in any activity that results in the creation of goods and services for the satisfaction of human wants, that is called production. Ah. So it involves changing a commodity from its raw form all the way to the time when it can be consumed to satisfy a human want. You said it is all about creation of goods and services, so I believe the creation of services such as teaching, entertainment, doctoring, and so on are all part of production. That is very correct. The process of production has got a lot of stages, which I can illustrate using maize. Go ahead, please. All right. Now, with the maize, the farmer prepares the land and plants the seed. He takes care of them until harvesting time. Now, after harvesting, he sells the maize to a maize mill. And then the maize mill grinds the maize into flour. Yes. And while doing so, they do value addition like fortification of the flour, then takes it to traders. Any idea what traders do with it? Yep. They package the flour into suitable bags ready to sell to the consumers. That's right. And the consumers can make a very big ugali, finishing up with this process of production. A very beautiful illustration that was. Thank you. Take note that as the maize moves from one stage to another, value is added to it. Noted. Do you remember what we said earlier about utility? Uh, that was at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. The food was so delicious, I don't think I paid attention to what you were saying. Really? Then in that case... I think we can stop here. Come on, I'm joking. You say that utility is the ability of a product to satisfy a human want. Ah, next time you try that on me, <laughs> I'll end up pulling your ear. <laughs> Understood. But your explanation is very correct anyway. You know, the good thing with the production process is the fact that at each stage, the utility of that product is increased. Yes, I understand. Good. In fact, utility can also be explained as the satisfaction derived from the use of a good or a service. And it can come in four different types. I am listening. Good. The first type is known as form utility. Mm -hmm. In the production process, the form of a commodity undergoes change from its raw form all the way to the finished product which will satisfy human want. I agree. Grinding maize into flour really changes its form. Yes, it does. Secondly, we have time utility. Time? Mm -hmm. How is that possible? You see, not all goods or services are consumed immediately they are produced. Yes. Sometimes, they have to be stored as they wait to be consumed. Now, the time of production to the time of consumption is what we call time utility. Mm -hmm. It can be achieved by storing the commodity so as to ensure continuous supply to the consumers. I see. Now, next is place utility. This is created by the transportation of commodities from place of their production to the place of their consumption. And the consumer can get the goods at a location of their convenience since they won't go far to look for the goods. I'm glad you're following. Lastly, we have possession utility. I think I can try explaining this one. Oh, nice. Proceed. Of course, it is the consumer who finally gets to possess the goods. So I think the possession utility comes when the consumer possesses the commodity. Excellent. I keep insisting that you will be a professor and you have to. I like the way you explain things. Well, my mother says I can be anything as long as I work hard enough. Absolutely, she's right. Now that you understand what utility is, we can now look at the two types of production, which are direct and indirect production. We begin with direct production. Let me ask you a question. I thought I was the listener here. Once in a while, the listener gets to speak to. So here is a question. 
Do you have a farm at home? Of course. Where else would we grow all the vegetables we eat at home? Anything else you grow apart from vegetables? Maize, beans and sorghum. Do you sell any of that? Nope, we use all of it at home. What you have described is a perfect case of direct production, also known as subsistence production. Okay. Nothing is sold, so everything is consumed by the farmer's household. So there is no exchange of goods and services? Not at all. Usually, the amount produced is small enough to only benefit that particular family. And they use the simplest methods of production ever. What do you mean by simplest methods of production? I mean they don't need to buy complicated farming tools or use expensive fertilizers and so on. I got it. Of course, the goods produced are for their own consumption and there is less specialization. And with less specialization, it goes without saying that the quality of the goods will also be low. Correct. Lastly, the production is carried out on a small scale. That's true. My mother's farm is kind of small. Now, as for indirect production, the goods and services are produced for sale. I already figured that out since it is opposite of direct production. Cool. What else have you figured out? Of course, the person producing the goods and the one consuming it are two different people. The goods produced are for sale, hence it is a commercial activity and the quantity of goods are high. Good work. I'm not done yet. They have to use modern technology in the production process so as to produce the best. Thank you. Now, here the production is specialized. Huh? Mm-hmm. This means that if you decide to produce maize in your farm, it will be just maize in large scale. Not maize and beans and sorghum, you know, like you do back at home. That's right. Now, of course, the production must have surplus goods for the market. And the goods have to be of high quality. Last but not least, it is mainly done in a large scale. And now I am conversant with everything about production. Point of correction, that is not everything. Really? Yes, in fact, that is just the tip of the iceberg. Next, we are going to look at the different levels of production. But first, you get to honor your promise. My promise? Yes, to go home and help your mother. I meet you here tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Thank you. Okay, run along now. Bye. See you tomorrow. I'll be right here.